Hey everybody! Today we're going to look at how to put on backlacing stays by yourself. These stays also happen to be spiral laced, so you'll learn how to do that lacing pattern as well. Start with the stays backwards on yourself. Your spiral laced stays have a single lace that's anchored on one side. Thread the lace in through the opposite side, and then out underneath the anchored hole. This creates a spiral effect, so you go in one side and out the other. You'll want to lace this loosely so that later you can turn it around. Continue all the way down to the bottom of the stays. Now turn the stays around. Get them arranged and centered. Here's the tricky part. This will take some practice. Alyssa's first going to move the straps out of the way. Begin tightening the stays by pulling the laces taut and working the slack down as you go. This will take some time and does take some practice. We highly recommend doing it with a mirror so that you can see what you're doing behind you. Tighten the stays to the point that they feel comfortable. This works if you have decent range of movement and can reach behind you. If not, you'll need to get someone to help you. To tie off, Alyssa first threads the lacing back around through the bottom two holes once more. We'll go over how to tie this off in a later clip. These stays have straps, so they need to be adjusted and tied in place. They also have a drawstring, which can adjust the bust fit. Now let's look at how to do spiral lacing and tie it off one last time. These particular stays lace from bottom to top, but this applies to both options. As you can see, we're going in one side and out the other to create the spiral effect. This allows the edges to butt directly next to each other if your stay is laced closed. It is also the historically accurate method of lacing stays from the 18th century. For the last set of holes, Go through once, and then go through again. To tie off, create a slip knot by threading a loop of your lacing tail up through between the loops and pulling it taut. For most lacing cords and ribbons, this will be enough to hold your stays in place. You may want to do a second loop for extra security. Tuck the extra lacing behind your stays. <laughs> 